Hey guys, welcome back. It's Hannah here, and I have a very special guest. The star, the main real estate expert, me and Dylan's friend, Jason. Hey guys. I didn't go to the gym today, but it sounds like you've had a very productive day, and I'm so excited that you made some time for me to ask you some questions. Um, because I'm just curious. Like, I don't feel like I've ever actually just like sat down and chit chatted with you about like you. So today's the day. Yeah. All right. I'll talk about myself. All right. Bit. Let's do it. So I just jotted me. down some questions, and we're just gonna get into it. Go for what it. do you remember from the time that we oh, met? Oh, I remember the first when we time? met. It was the uh, polo event, the Vogue yeah. polo event. Yeah. I just remember you guys were at a table. Uh, we just, I think I started chatting with either Dylan or, or Bryce actually. Okay. And then we, we started chatting and we just became pretty good friends after that and started hanging out. Yeah. And I remember you were saying, or that day was slightly blurry for me, just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, we it's were a all champagne. Drinking champagne yeah. <laughs> but from, you said something about, you're like, yeah, like, you know, we're going to be doing this show or you had just filmed it or something like, was it all I there? think that Bryce, no, Bryce's girlfriend or something yeah. was a fan of our show so they stopped yes. us and were asking about it and then yes. oh and then one of the girls I was with recognized you from your show and so we just started chatting and then we just said and your mom was there or Dylan's mom was yep. there and yep. we just started hanging out drinking your alcohol that's what it was yeah. a great first time bonding experience it was sure. it was perfect that's such a cool event in fact too bad they canceled it this year but we'll go next year I wonder was it like exactly a year ago today? yeah it was like this month this... I think it's in like October yeah September October yeah Oh Sorry, what's our one-year anniversary? Yay! All right, so now let's let's just get into it. So, where are you from? Uh, Bay Area, which is, I mean, that's like the San Francisco Bay Area for people that don't know what the Bay Area is. Great. Did you know what the Bay Area was? Um, <laughs> I hate that I'm gonna say this, but my head went to Chicago at first, and then it redirected. To like, I've been in California my whole life, so when I when you hear Bay Area, everyone knows San Francisco Bay Area here. Okay, but I cool. think people outside of California don't know what I'm talking about. I was thinking of like the Bay, or is it a Bay in Chicago that? Uh, I don't know. Don't don't. I don't want to embarrass myself on YouTube. So <laughs> we're gonna no have to edit this part out. No geography questions. Can we? <laughs> no. We're in the north. Yeah. All yeah. right. Northwest. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Anyways, so how and why did you get into real estate? And if you weren't in real estate, what would you be doing? Well, I was a lawyer for many years before I was in real estate. So I probably. I oh yeah. No. Yeah, I worked at a big law firm here in Los Angeles. It was all right. I mean, I was happy-ish, but mm -hmm. not nearly as happy as I am now. So I would say, okay, so had I never left law, then I guess I'd still be in real estate. I mean, I'd still be a lawyer. Um, and I can't even imagine myself doing anything but real estate right now. I'm just so happy. But let's just assume I like was banned from real estate for some reason. Um, I really like art, so I might get into like some type of maybe like open up an art gallery. Oh, uh, that's Or I'd cool. also like to be like a business consultant at like McKenzie, where I would like consult businesses. I think ah. I'd be good at that. Oh, and, and I'm probably going to do this uh, at some point, but I'd also want to be a, like a professor at a, at, a, at a university. I definitely want to oh, teach. Oh, you would crush that. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to start teaching sooner than later as like a Not hobby. Geog not, not geography. Not geography. Not geography. I didn't know you were artsy. Do you paint? Oh, I'm not artsy. Oh. No, I'm terrible at art. I just you, like you art. You just like art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like th this kind of art. You know, just like. Gotcha. Yeah. Collect, I like collecting pieces. art. Like this. I like antiques too. Yeah. Antiques and art. I like old stuff. I would even be an antique dealer, honestly. Can we each just hold a puppy? Are you, Are you so, so excited? Puppy? Are you ready to play? Do you want to play? <gasps> <laughs> ah, okay. How did selling Sunset happen? Were you nervous? Like, during the first season, yeah. were like on show, off show, everything. Were you like, what is going on? Nico, no, no food yet. No food. How did it start? We got we got approached um, for like a year or two by different agents and producers, and I just didn't want to do a show. My brother and I talked about it. We just thought it was too much, too much risk, not enough reward. You know, we were doing so well, things were just moving. You know, we had a great reputation. We didn't want to risk anything. It's like why, why risk anything? And I've never watched reality TV. I'm not really like. Someone who, you know, I want, basically that's it. Reality TV is not really my thing, which I know is a little ironic right now, but. Hilarious. So I was like, ah, do I want to do a reality show? And 
and then you know expose myself and my and my brokerage and all this stuff and who knows how they're gonna spin it edit I was like so nervous risky so you know Adam called us our current uh, producer and he you know he slowly kind of convinced us to have a meeting and then from there we kind of got excited about it you know all, all the women did as well we kind of did a 180 and then we were like okay you gotta get we gotta get Netflix and then he got us Netflix and we got super excited um, but season one was super nerve-wracking oh I was a mess I really was a mess did I you was have like stage fright it wasn't that I was so like nervous being in front of the camera, as much as I was just oh my god like how is this show going to be good, um, you know what's how's my brand going to come off? I mean I don't know. It's just the I group was, is your I baby. Can't, I can't control it. Like I'm very controlling with my business and my reputation, and, and I and I just didn't control that process. So I was like, we, weirded out by that. Yeah, it's like wow. my it's like imagine like it'd be like if my kiddos I had to go give them a babysitter. Yeah. Like, I'd be freaking out. Yeah. Even if the babysitter was great, I'd still be freaking out. And it's like, like you said, I kind of felt the same going on the, sh on the Bachelor. Like, you can't control editing a lot of. <gasps> Hi! Hi, oh, Zaley. Oh my goodness. But it's just scary because you can't control that, plus, like, millions of people are watching it. So that pressure on top of not being able to control it is terrifying. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then season one was good. And we're like, okay, cool that we did season two. We got way more comfortable. As you notice, like the shows get yeah. better because we're more comfortable on camera. You know, oh, we're, being, sure. we're more open now, and we and, and I think we just have more trust in the process. Hi, sweetheart. So that's why it just keeps getting better and better. I think. Yeah. And I'm just at this point, I'm just so chill. I just I have no, no like uh, qualms. <laughs> right here. <laughs> God. She's, she sheds everywhere. Okay, I think it's good. You're good. So, Chriselle's on Dancing with the Stars. Do you have any go-to moves? Would you ever do Dancing with the Stars? Uh, well, I couldn't do Dancing with the Stars. Because, well, for so many different reasons. One, I suck at dancing. Mm. Two, I could never pull myself away from work for two months. Um, so, yeah, no. So that answers that. Yeah. Dancing but I watch go -to all the dance time. Move, nothing? No, I don't even, I'm not even good enough for a go-to. <laughs> You'll uh, just watch. Tune yeah, in. Ex exactly. I, I tune in, and I'm a big, you know, I'm, I'm rooting for her. She's doing well. Yeah, she's just she's doing in. just well enough every week to yeah. to not get voted off. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll see, so we'll see. Okay, I I created this like artsy question, sort of, but yeah. you like art, so most popular, most likely to be a millionaire, drama queen, and class clown. Who at the Oppenheim group? Did I say that right? Yeah. Thank goodness would get those high school superlatives. So, most popular. Oh, you throw out some big words. Okay, most popular in high school? Mm-hmm. I mean, I, but I know who was popular in high school. So it's like unfair. So should I say like, had I, if I didn't know who I was? If you, if you only, bless you, <laughs> if you only tuned into the show and okay, you didn't fair actually enough. know that who Class was. Class clown probably uh, Christine. Okay, okay. I would have thought most popular probably would be, that would be tough. I mean, I would have thought that like, Chriselle, but I don't think she was. All right. But I would think. And then what were the other two? We have Drama Queen and uh, Most Likely to be a Millionaire. Those are tough. And, dra and Drama Queen? Mm-hmm. Oh, I would have been easier. Prom Queen would be easier. Prom queen. Fine. Done. I would have probably guessed Mary would be prom queen. Absolutely. Drama Was queen. Was she? I would give Christine drama queen and class clown. That was great. What would you have been? Uh, oh, of those? Or of any? Probably more like class clown. I acted out a lot in high school. Okay. Yeah. No, that would have been more like before high school. I probably would have been... Not prom queen. Yeah. Oh, no, I was saying for me. <laughs> well, no, for me too. No, I would have not been prom queen. I would have wanted to be class clown, but there's too many damn people at my school. Yeah. All right. I would have, I'll give you prom queen. That was good. I feel like you put a lot of thought into that one. Yeah, I, I take that thought into all questions. That was, that was good. So don't ask me things unless you have time. <laughs> this, is, this is it. Um, okay. Any funny behind the scenes moment that didn't make it on the show? Moments. I mean, every moment when we're filming it is... Ha 90% of the off-camera stuff is just we're like laughing and, and joking around. Yeah. So there's a just a ton of it, especially like me, Mary, and Amanda. That's pretty much all we do. 
That's how it, my entire journal, I had like a journal on the show, on The Bachelor, yeah. and every single memory that I put on there, it wasn't even from the show or feelings. It was all like funny behind the scenes memories because we didn't have our phones, so I had to document it. There. Most of, plus we're all, we're filming so often that like the behind the scenes is on also part of the, you know, yeah. on camera too. Um, but we just, we just laugh a lot, you know, like just LOL all the time. Like. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We just, we don't take it ourselves too seriously. Yeah. Well, in, in life, you don't have all of these like storylines in real life. And so on a show, of course, they have to make it feel more like a story and stuff. But in real life, you're just hanging out. Well, they're, the they're editing it down to like those right. moments, you know, for yeah. sure. Uh, uh, for us, which is so interesting when you, because it's like, it, it's like the equivalent of like, imagine if somebody spent like days baking a cookie, one cookie. Yeah. And then just someone just goes and goes, um. Right. That's what it feels like when we spend like six months doing a couple of seasons and then someone's like, oh, I just binge your show, you know, in the first day. Like, like, that was my ah, life. That was six months worth of work. Yeah. Don't watch it in a day. But I also That's love funny. that they binge it. Right. But it's like, it would be like if you, you know, spent like a week baking a cookie. And, and then they assume they know everybody, too. They assume yeah. they know they everything. They up to us a lot because I feel like, I think in reality TV, people feel like they know you more. Yeah. Like if I was oh. an actor, you know, you don't go up to actors in LA. I mean, right. And they don't, yeah, you don't see that, but with reality TV, I think they, there's a, more of a connection. Absolutely, because it's you. Yeah, yeah. Good or point. moments of you. Yeah, you're not gonna go up to someone and be like, oh, I loved you in, like right. that's kind of awkward. You don't bond with that person so much. Yeah, yeah. I, w I was curious about this. I am obsessed with twins. I think I told you that like the first time I met you or maybe the second time, but I have this weird obsession with twins. Like <laughs> I just like love them. Anyways, what's a crazy time that you and Brett have switched places possibly or do you ever run into moments where people think that you're him and you just answer like it's him oh all the time Definitely. but i'm always answering to brett i mean pretty much i don't want because we have like a pact like basically we don't want people to think that we're rude mm -hmm. so if i don't answer to brett then they're gonna <laughs> think that i'm rude and vice versa so the, the rule Ooh. is to just be like hey or what's up if someone is you know right. talking to you like the other one um you know you don't carry on and pretend to the other person, but you don't want right. to, whatever. It's like a social usually, thing. Usually someone's waving, I'm going to wave back. I don't want them to think that, you know, because yeah. they're like, you didn't wave back. Um, or is there a moment where somebody else? confused you guys or something? I, I mean, I've confused us. So uh, I, I was in a department store and I looked in a mirror and I went like this to get Brett to come over because I was trying to unclose. And he, <laughs> him? no, it was me in a mirror. No. And I thought no. it was Brett. No. Yeah. So it gets, no, but it gets worse because I'm going like this. Come here. Yeah. And then, he, of course, it's a mirror, so he's going like this. <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 you come over here, like to myself. It was I'm super obsessed. embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. And you're just literally staring. Literally, like trying to get him over here, thinking that he's trying to get me over to him. You're like, he's lost it. Yeah. That's good. So it was, That's good. That was probably the funnier, the funniest moment I've had of confusing myself for Brett. Very cool. I bet there's so many like twin stories out there. I should like go and like a deep hole. Well, of we also and went stuff. to this. Uh, we went to this convention, a twins convention in Twinsburg. Oh, I want to go. I it's like a thousand twins. sets of identical twins. It was one of the coolest experiences I've, I've ever had. Oh, it was God. so interesting because, you know, when Brett and I are out now, we're like an oddity, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, everyone's like looking and whatever. But when you're there, you're totally normal. It's just all identical twins. And you just, you're like, you're just like a normal person for the first time ever. It's and the odd twins. people are the people that don't have twins. So it's some dude walking around without a, a doppelganger. He's an odd man out. Like, it's so crazy. Wow. It was the most un surreal experience. And I felt so, cool. in, I felt like I was in like a, a camp amongst people like me, you know, and, and it was normalized. It was so interesting. Wow. Multiples camp. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, if you're an identical twin, you have to do this once. My mom like made us go one time and I, and I don't regret it. It was so fun. We did like lookalike contests. You do like all these little things. It was funny. I want to go. Can I go? <laughs> I don't think so. You need to find someone that looks a lot like you and then go. Everybody comes up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, my cousin looks just like you. And they show me a picture. There's always somebody who looks like me. Oh, I'll just grab one of them. I, yeah, I'll just mess You and Dylan can just be like, there's some fraternal twins. You can just say you're fraternal twins. Perfect. What other areas besides LA would you buy real estate in? Good question. Um, New York, Miami, and probably Newport Beach. Ooh, Malibu. Love Newport. And Malibu. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm looking at, I want to open up an office in Newport. Um, those are my favorite places that I just mentioned. So that's yeah. why. I mean, I'd want to buy 
where I love. So I could always, you know, yeah. live there if I wanted to. Cool. I believe in those areas. Hi, Bobby. Hi, guys. Come on over. Come on. Would on. you guys like who you are? No, he's weird. I have to like reach my hand down and then he jumps. It's oh. so weird. Hi, All right. Bobby. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna ask you this. You might not be able to answer. Who's the coolest person you've ever sold a house to, and what were they like? Were you nervous? I don't get nervous when I uh, I'm working with people in business. But who's the coolest person? Oh my gosh, I've got so many cool clients. I know. And that's probably the best thing about my job is how cool my clients are. If you don't want a name drop, you can yeah, give a hint, um, or you can do. I don't know. Uh, yeah, all I would be doing is name dropping. Mm -hmm. But, it's and, up to but you. I just have a ton of clients that I really think are just cool. I'm sure Wait. Chloe Moretz around. I think she's a really cool girl. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. Nice. I mean, Who else? you look. You you're here in LA. Like, that's where it's based. Like, you know. Yeah. Like, this is the best place to do real estate in the world. You have everyone's wealthy from all these weird reasons. I mean, honestly, you can't. People ask me like, oh, who's going to buy my house? Like, I have no idea who's going to buy your house. It's going to be some randomly wealthy young person. Yeah. And it's going to be for some reason that, that nobody knows. And it's funny. I used to drive around here and I was like, how is there that many like wealthy successful people? people? Like it's mind, mind blowing. Yeah. And even like the small places here, I'm like, they're, they're so expensive and so crazy, but it's really cool. Like, well now it's more, um, YouTube, Instagram type of stuff. Yeah. There's so many wealthy people, like mm -hmm. really wealthy people um, from that type of thing, so. Yes. Are you hiring? Um, not really, no. Uh, well, I, darn, if, if I was I, gonna try to apply. If I open up an office in, in Newport Beach, I'll probably be hiring, but yeah. I'm not really looking. I'm so careful about expanding. Yeah. Right now, I just don't wanna deal, and I don't wanna deal with a new agent, sorry. I'm not trying to train somebody right now, I don't have the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah, understandable. Yeah. Um, okay, I think you I'm can join now. I'll talk. I'll, oh, can I join? Oh my gosh, that would be a dream. Really? You like this? Huh? Well, I could learn about it. All right. Pencil me in. All right. All right. We'll, great. We'll talk about we'll, it. We'll talk. We'll talk, about we'll talk over dinner later. Yeah. All right. So since you're semi new to this whole new world of like you have a show, like all this crazy stuff, right? Has there been any like funny fan moments yet, or has anybody come and like? Banged on the door all day at long. the office. That's all day long. People we walked by, by yesterday office. and we were like, oh, there he is. Yeah. No, people, I mean, I, I go out and take photos every day. Uh, sometimes the tour buses stop by. Oh, really? But it's pretty constant. Um, yeah. yeah, it's actually everywhere I go now. But it's, it's nice. It's positive. You know, I make people happy. It's fun. I don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah, I thought I would because I'm kind of like, I don't, I, I'm kind of private in that sense, but mm -hmm. for some reason I just, I'm like, cool. Like, I feel like, they're all happy and smiling, and, and you know they want it. my even last night my uh, Postmates guy, mm -hmm. he was like, you know, geeking out. So I went out there and took a photo with him. I did like a video for his girlfriend and stuff. I mean, it's like it's always you, know, you feel like you're making people happy. happy. Yeah. I agree. I feel the exact same, and I think it's kind of a, it kind of bothers me sometimes when people who go on reality TV or TV whatever or come to random new fame or whatever, and they're like, ah, no pictures, and I'm like. You signed up for this. No, you, like you need to. It's enjoy not only that you signed up for it. Like you have a responsibility almost. I mean, like yeah, it's like a you. You have the power to make people happy. If you don't yeah. do that, you're a dick. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, we're on the same page. Yeah, I love that. Okay. But I do. Do I get like a B plus, A minus? I was just gonna say I just went through all of those questions, and I think you just got an A plus. Oh wow. Like you came in from working out, and I was like, maybe he's just gonna want to like you know, you snap through it, whatever. You crushed that. Thank you so right. much. Thank you so much. Did you hear that, Bub? A plus, Bubby. Yay! And the kiddos plus. did great. We got A pluses. Yay! You got an A plus. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much for joining today. Make sure to check out Jason's social medias and everything like that. I'll link it all below and make sure to subscribe while you're here. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye, Bye guys. guys.